This video is made at a user's request. Today I'm showing you how to winterize rosin in a small batch. Here I have almost a gram of rosin, about a 0.8, that I made just before this video. I'm placing it into a beaker and adding 10 ml of Everclear. I'm adding the alcohol to the rosin so that I can winterize it. Apply light heat and mix until all of the rosin is dissolved into the alcohol. Here I'm pouring the rosin and alcohol into a graduated cylinder. This is just for the purpose of the video. I then place it into the freezer and let cool for about 14 hours. After freezing, you can see that the wax, fats, and lipids have separated and sunk to the bottom. Here I'm using two syringes to pull out the fats and waxes as well as the alcohol separately. This is also just for the purposes of this video to show you the difference. It does help however to pull them out separately as it makes it easier to filter the cleaner portion compared to the waxy portion. Here I'm pushing them through a 0.22 micron syringe filter. The syringe filter traps the fats and waxes and removes them from the alcohol. In the end, you have rosin and alcohol that has been winterized and removed of any of its fats and waxes. 
All right, once you're done filtering, you now have fully winterized rosin. You can go ahead and use this for edibles, or you can further refine it by boiling away the ethanol and using it for vape pens or normal dabs. My hot plate has a built-in magnetic stirrer. It's a magnet that spins around and spins a magnetic stir bar. This automates the stirring process and speeds up the overall evaporation. It may take some time for all the alcohol to evaporate. Keep checking back on it every so often so that you don't burn your rosin. I don't recommend consuming concentrate that may have ethanol in it often. If you are going to do this regularly, you are better off getting it back for the final purge process. After you've reduced most of the alcohol out, I like to put another beaker on top to prevent any volatiles such as terpenes from escaping that haven't already. In this final process, you're removing the last of the ethanol. Now you can't truly remove all of it without a vacuum, so I like to do this for as long as possible at a medium to high heat. Right now it's heated at around 95 degrees Celsius. I like to let it sit like this for a couple hours before I feel it's safe to smoke and the ethanol has escaped.